Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. So today I'm doing the big wardrobe switch over. I'm filming mine really, really early, um, right at the beginning of September. <laughs> I feel like I need it. I'm having one of those, I'm, I'm having one of those met days where I just feel like just, I don't want to do anything and I just don't feel great. And something that really helps me and I found really therapeutic is organizing and cleaning. So that is what I'm gonna spend my whole day today doing. And obviously I'm filming it with you guys, so I feel like I'm doing it with somebody. But yeah, the reason why I do mine so early, I'm filming this on the 2nd of September. The reason why I do mine so early is because obviously with doing fashion content creating as a job um now that we are in september i'm not really going to be shooting i'm not really going to be shooting any more summery outfits um so even if we have like um a hot spell or anything like that i will probably continue to do uh, more autumn fashion so for me i find it really hard to create autumn content when my main wardrobe is full of summery bright clothing so um that's the first reason why i do it just because it really helps with content creating and visualization i'm a very visual person secondly um i want to also kind of do i don't know what what the word is called but i kind of want to do like a a stock take that sounds really weird it sounds like a work in a shop it reminds me of like stock take when i used to work in retail but basically i want to see what's currently in my wardrobe so that i know the areas which i am missing out and where i could do with investing in and you know buying new items i don't want to be rebuying the same item um a lot of stores have started now bringing out more of their autumn winter clothing and i am getting to the stage where i want to start buying again um by the time you see this video i would have done several hauls i'm sure of it um but i'm filming this way in advance before i've done any hauls um but yeah i'm at the stage where i want to start buying some new items but i don't want to buy any duplicates i know it sounds crazy that i don't know it sounds crazy that i don't remember what i have um in my autumn winter wardrobe but i genuinely don't and it's just because i have a lot of items and it's part of my job and uh, it's part of my job to try and new items and all that kind of thing so i need to see what i already have so that that doesn't happen um also i just want to do a decutter and get rid of stuff get rid of some summer stuff which i haven't really worn this year first step that i'm going to do is i'm going to get my rail out i'll link the rail down below jack's dad actually makes these rails so he has an etsy shop so i will link that all in the description box down below um so yeah let's do it <laughs> okay so this is where we are starting with my wardrobe it's just really really full and it it's full of summer clothing, like I said earlier, so all of my favourite dresses. Got longer dresses here, shorter dresses and tops here, shoes there, random bags. Um, and then at the top I've got boxes and handbags all behind there. I haven't actually done the unboxing for my for this bag. I still haven't done the unboxing for this bag um, but obviously this video is going to go up a lot later um, and after my birthday so yeah I can show you guys the bag freely. I'm so excited to wear that bag for autumn winter it's just going to be my go-to big bag whenever I need one so yeah um, I'm probably going to start off by um, moving all the stuff out and putting it on a rail and then after I've done that, clean clean all this out. And then I will start filling it up with my autumn clothing. Jet planes in the night sky with you. Getting high in the sunrise with you. Okay, so this is where I'm at with my wardrobe. Um, the walls are quite dirty, but I don't think you can see them on camera. And I'm just going to give the top of the shelf a good dust. I'm going to hoover up the floor because uh, it's carpeted on the inside and it's just absolutely filthy. So, yeah. Getting through all the bad times with you. Okay, so now I have cleaned out this whole wardrobe. I'm now going to head next door. 
I'll show you guys what the situation is like in here because this is where I'm keeping all of my out of season clothing. So this is the other wardrobe and it's full and it's messy and I need to organise it regardless um, because it's just a hot mess. So I've got some knitwear in there and in that wardrobe. Ignore my dry hands, they're going to be dry all day. I have some coats which I'm probably not going to wear but I will be wearing all of these knit pieces here. I've got some boots under there. I also have more clothing underneath this bed so I don't really know where to start. Um, I can tell that this one has coats which I don't really want the coat shirt. I wasn't missing a thing no I do. And I wish that I could do this Cause I moved on These are all of the boots which I got out from underneath um, the bed So I thought I would quickly go through some of my favourite boots Boots I'm really excited to wear I'm going to do a whole video talking about um, my favourite items that I'm really really excited to wear this season Anyway Items I'm most excited about and items I'm going to donate. These boots, I absolutely love them. They're from the Beach Dolls. Nice tan brown boots in this kind of faux suede material. I really, really, really like these boots, but I just know these are better off going to somebody who's going to love them and wear them constantly, whereas I just know I'm not going to be able to wear these all the time. So these ones are going. So these boots are going. Um, okay. Boots that I love. I've had these boots for so many years from Topshop. Absolutely love them. Every single time I, I like, I hardly ever wear them really, but I just absolutely love them. They're just so fun. A bit tacky, but they're just. I just love them. I love them so 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 much. Um, and I can't wait. And I hope that I will wear them. These are my Doc Martin Jaden boots. I am incredibly excited to wear these. Um, they are heavy and they can be a bit painful to wear, but I am so, so, so excited to wear these boots. Uh, hmm. See, I also have these boots here, which are kind of like a similar version to my Doc Martins. They're a little bit, they're a little bit taller, and they have. Do they have a zip? My Doc Martens have a zip as well. So they're very, very similar to my Doc Martens. They're probably a lot more comfortable because they're not in that kind of rigid leather. They're in a faux leather um, material. They're really, really nice. And to be honest, I haven't actually worn them um, outside. I've worn them for like, outfit pictures when I was doing a lot more indoor content. Um, so yeah, I'm going to donate these because I'm just not going to wear them. Okay. These are a pair of boots from Feature Dolls. Honestly, these are some of my favourite ever, ever boots. Um, I love the contrast of the black and the kind of light beige tan colour here. I don't know, I love that detail. They look so expensive, but I, um, I just think that they look really expensive. I'm definitely not getting rid of these boots. These are my favourites. But I'm not sure about these boots because they are so pointed. Like, honestly, if you got that in your eye, you could take your eye out, basically. <laughs> um, but, yeah, these are a pair of Chelsea boots, which I got from Zara a couple of years back. I have worn them a lot, but there is something about the inner, like, the inner leather here. It is, when it rubs, it rubs your legs, and it honestly can take your skin off. Um, I do love these boots and I don't want to get rid of them because I feel like I could want to wear them in the future But I'm not sure I even like the way that they make my feet look. I'm a size UK 7 which I think is a, Which I think is a US 9 so I have quite big feet um, And I think these just elongate them even more um, I'm gonna put them in the donate pile these boots here, I really, really like them. They're just a good pair of classic Chelsea boots. But when do I ever wear boots like this? I don't know. 
but I don't want to donate them because they're like a good pair of leather boots in this faux croc material. These are from Modo and Pele, I think. Um, they're just a good pair of staple, non-trendy, but just gorgeous classic boots, which I feel like I might not wear them now, but maybe in like five years, ten years down the line, I might want to wear them, so I don't want to get rid of them. This is the monstrosity that I'm coming to. Um, just like so much clothes. Yeah, I'm going to go through all of this. And I'm probably going to keep about 80% of it, I think. Probably like 90% of it. But there are those items I think I've just kind of outgrown and just no longer my style anymore. So yeah, let's do this. And now you're gone Oh, if only I could build it and machine I'd come and get you I can't forget you Okay, so I have had my lunch. Now I'm going to organise all of my boots and put them where I think I want to store them. And then I have a bunch of items here, which are like my autumn winter items, which I'm also going to put in the wardrobe and start organising my actual wardrobe um, and start organising my autumn wardrobe. I wish that, I wish that. I wish that you were mine. I miss you. I miss I've pretty much organised everything. Um, yeah, everything's organised, put away. I have packed most of my summer clothes away. I've kept a row of things that I think might be good for um, the end of summer and possibly if we do go on holiday. Um, but yeah, so next thing for me to do is to pop all of my handbags back up there. I'm gonna do um, a time lapse and just, and then I'll show you guys what I've done and give you guys kind of like a final tour. I've managed to get rid of so much stuff. I'm honestly shocked. I didn't think, I didn't really plan on doing like a huge declutter and didn't think I was gonna really get rid of much. I have got, I've got rid of, um, I've got rid of three big bags of clothes um which i'm just so shocked and surprised about um so i'm really 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 happy about that and i'm obviously going to be donating all that stuff but i'll talk about that more when i um do like the final talk Okay, so this is the final wardrobe setup. So yeah, let me just quickly go through it. At the front here, I've got my two dressing gowns and then I have all of my trench coats here as well. Um, I thought about bringing out all of my big coats but I was like, no, it's just too soon. I will not be wearing them. So I've kept them in storage. So I've only got trench coats here. And then I've got like knit dresses, um, cardigans, long line cardigans. My favourite one is this one from Zara, which I picked up last year. And then I have this gorgeous mint dress, which is still a little bit summery. Um, it's a nice colour. And then I've got this gorgeous, beautiful dress from Topshop. I've had this dress for a couple of years. I'm not going to lie, it doesn't fit me the best. It's a little bit tight, but... Um, I'm on a fitness journey, so I'm hoping I will fit into it nicely this autumn winter. And then I have my three leather jackets. Now I'm really glad that I've brought out um, all of my jackets, like all of my jackets here. Um, because now I know that I'm missing a black blazer, a classic black blazer. And I've been on the hunt for one for such a long time. And I finally found one from Cos, which I love. And I am going to get it. It's a little bit on the pricey side. But with a black blazer, I hope that I will get loads of use out of it. So I think it's an investment I'm going to make. Um, a fashion investment, I mean. Like, it's not an actual investment. Um, that I'm going to make very, very soon. Anyway, I have shackets here. I've got this gorgeous one here from H&M. And then, yeah, I've got this um, wool blazer here. 
um, some denim jackets. I've got my Levi denim jacket and then I've got this really big oversized one from New Look as well. And then from here onwards, I've just got knitwear. And then I've brought out all of my faux leather trousers. I only have three now. Do I have three? Three and then a pair of leather leggings from Topshop. Okay, it's got really dark in this room because it is now evening time. But at the top there, I've kept all of my handbags and to be fair i love the setup on this side more than this side because i feel like this side is a lot more minimal um that's kind of like the vibe that i've gone for with this whole setup i just wanted it to be you know minimal ish um things to be nicely spaced out it just gives me um you know when you go into like a high-end store and everything's just really like minimal clean simple that's the vibe that i want that's how i feel inspired to create i have all my handbags out i keep them out all year round the only one that i put away is my um loewe basket bag because i will not be wearing a basket bag now and also i've um put away my Kurt Geiger uh, rainbow bag because it's very very spring summer and we're obviously not in the season anymore so yeah, I have all of my bags out. Even this YSL bag, I know I will get use out of it because it's just the perfect. Like, can you imagine that with like cream knits? Oh, the vibe. I can see it already. Um, so yeah, all my bags there. I will probably get loads of use out of this bag. I'm so, so excited to wear that Pochette Matisse. And then, and then you can see my new little baby. Um, and yeah, all the rest of there. My babies. Oh. They look beautiful together don't they and um, so yeah those are all the bags at the back and then i've also got all of my shoes here i've um really cut down on my boots like i swear last year i had like so many boots like so many more boots um and i've really really worked on cutting it down and this for me is cutting it down i know this might not be um uh, this might still be a lot for people but this is good for me so yeah these are all the items that i have out here obviously these boots here need cleaning i actually have um some cleaning stuff here i actually have some cleaning stuff here which i'm going to use and um, but yeah i need to clean out all of my boobs and my white trainers honestly i didn't realize i had that many white trainers um my converse and then i have some more boots just here as well and then i put my gucci loafers just under there because they fit perfectly and i hope to still be able to wear them especially during this transitional period sorry about the lighting but guys honestly and the state of me i look crazy right now but i am so shocked at the amount of stuff that i managed to get rid of like i am just shocked i'm going to the charity shop tomorrow gonna get rid of all this stuff and yeah i i just didn't expect to be able to I think I've just been really, really brutal with myself. Yeah. <laughs> so these are all the stuff which I am going to be getting rid of. So yeah. So yeah, I have three huge bags. These are like the IKEA bags, you know, like the really big IKEA bags. Um, and yeah. So you can see that I have knit stuff. I have summer stuff. I have some stuff that I've got rid of. It's literally because I have two of them. Like for instance, I have two of these dresses and I have two of these jeans. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I ended up with two of them. Um, but yeah, I've got two of some items and then other stuff I'm just getting rid of because I because I haven't got use out of them and um, I feel like they'd be better equipped for somebody else and somebody else can enjoy them and you know that's what i love about this job is that i can enjoy items but because i've got them gifted i feel really happy to be able to pass them on to somebody else who will be able to enjoy them anyway um and then i have that shoe rack which i don't know what i'm going to do with it um i used that last year because i had so many boots last year but because i managed to declutter and get rid of a lot of things i no longer need that rail uh, i no longer need that shoe rack so i need to find a new home for it that is my h&m package which came in today that's actually some of the stuff that's going to be on the h&m um haul. Oh, i've got this beautiful cardigan here um some trousers a shacket but yeah that was my wardrobe declutter um organization video thank you so much for watching um hopefully this video isn't too long it probably will be but it's just the nature of the video i hope you've enjoyed and you've watched this video with a nice drink and a snack um yeah i'll catch you all in my next video bye